Hi, my name is Sada Tierney. I'm an associate professor in pediatrics at Stanford University and a pediatric cardiologist subspecialized in imaging. I do not have any conflicts of interests to disclose. As you might be very familiar with, um, several handheld echo devices have been developed over the last decade and have been mainly utilized to obtain focused images in certain clinical settings, such as in the emergency rooms or in intensive care units. The operators in these settings often are medical professionals who are not trained in imaging necessarily, but learn how to acquire focused images to answer their specific clinical question. A good example for this would be to do a focused echocardiogram at the bedside to rule out pericardial effusion on a critically ill patient. Uh, about five, six years ago, I started working with one of my colleagues here, Dr. David Rosenthal, uh, on the feasibility of actually teaching parents how to obtain focused images on their children. At that time, we focused on pediatric heart transplant patients. And why these patients? Well, these children need to be monitored very closely for any signs of rejection. And more than 50% of our patients live more than 100 miles away. Uh, the heart transplant care team often has to um, be in a difficult situation where they have to decide if the patient should be taken to the nearest urgent care or emergency room or actually taken to our center, driven to our center or not. Um, we thought at that time that having this extra tool at home uh, could enhance our triage process. Shortly after our initial discussions, we were lucky enough to secure uh, some funding, seed funding from Stanford Cardiovascular Institute to purchase a handheld echo device. We then actually trained parents to obtain these images all in person, the training was in person, then sent them home um, and instructed them to take the same images at home without our supervision. Uh, to our pleasant surpri uh, surprise, these parents were not only able to learn how to take these images at home, but also felt very empowered to participate actively in their kids' care. Um, after uh, this experience, we were able to obtain funding from uh, the Stanford Maternal Child Health uh, Research Institute to implement the same protocol in pediatric Marfan patients. Uh, in, this population is also a special population where echo surveillance is an important part of their care. Um, and um, uh, similar to what we experienced in the pediatric heart transplant Plant, uh, heart transplant patients uh, and parents. Parents of these children uh, also were able to learn this technology without any difficulties and showed great enthusiasm. So encouraged um, by all these results, pre-COVID times, uh, when COVID uh, pandemic started, we thought we could implement this um, approach, um, this novel approach rapidly uh, into a clinical program um, and um, of course, conversion of a research protocol to a clinical process required a lot of effort uh, for our heart center team, uh, but we uh, had great support by the LPCH leadership um, and uh, ultimately we were successful to roll this out uh, as, a, uh, as a remote echo program. Um, and uh, these uh, echoes are uh, to be used in tandem with telehealth visits in our patient population. Uh, so if you uh, look at my background, the picture on the on the right hand side is the, the handheld echo device we're currently using. There are some others in the market. Um, it is basically a probe attached to a tablet and it can also be attached to an iPhone. Um, we train parents on how to use um, the tablet and also how to use the probe and to get the focused images we would like them to get for um, for uh, on their child. Um, so this is a, a training a session, and then uh, they are ready to go when uh, go home. And when we need uh, to see them via a telehealth visit, we uh, and um, an echo remote echo order is in place. We actually um, have our uh, sonographers. 
um, help them uh, get the same images uh, with real-time supervision. So the setup is uh, really unique uh, in the clinical protocol um, where the parents actually um, are not alone. They have real-time supervision anytime they need to do an echo. And how is uh, this provided? The uh, platform um, uh, that the vendor has um, allows us not to see actually the images in real time, but also the patient and the parent. So we can actually help them reposition the probe or reposition the patient. So the images are uh, best quality for interpretation by us. Um, so this is our current uh, protocol uh, and a little uh, snapshot of how we um, implemented um, a research protocol into a novel uh, clinical care tool. Thank you for your time.